Morning. Did my salute scare you? I'm sorry. Sorry. Morning. Morning, Weasel. How you doing? I'm just guarding the water, man. That guy keeps drinking all the water. Yeah, he does like his water. Yeah, man, it's all my, all my water. I did actually get the boys uh, bottled water uh, from now on. Uh, I'm thinking that's just going to be a little easier than always refilling the jugs, the four liter jugs, the one gallon jugs with uh, tap water. Plus, you never know if the tap water is good or not. So this way I know it's bottled water. They'll be drinking clean water. You can go to Walmart and get 24 bottles for like three bucks. So I'm going to try that for a little while, see how that works. I'm going to have to start some kind of recycling program in here though because I'm going to have a lot of plastic bottles lying around. From this guy, because you drink all the water. That's what I'm saying, man. He drinks all the water. That's why I'm guarding this one. This one's mine. This one's mine. Good boy, Diesel. Little tail wag over there. You're doing a good deed, man. You guard that water. That one's yours. The other guy's crazy. I know. All right, so we've gone for our morning stroll. We have been loaded here in Kelowna, British Columbia, and we are now headed back home to Manitoba, Canada. We're 2,000 kilometers away, or uh, 1,200 miles, so it's gonna be two days of driving. So without further ado, let's get on the road. Let's get out there, let's get at it. Let's get her done. Kelowna, British Columbia. So we're crossing the bridge here from the west over to the main city. This bridge is a unique, weird kind of bridge to me. Half of it is floating, half of it is elevated. Why? Well, obviously the elevated part is that the boats can pass underneath it, right? Why is half of it floating though? That's the question. And why is your bridge floating? Why don't you have things under there, like normal bridges? So you'll see that the bridge goes up and then down and then flat across the, the water. You'll see. It's, it's weird. You see it over there already, right? Over to the left? It's a weird, weird bridge. Okay, here we go. Up the elevated part. You guys ready? Did you bring your water wings? Just in case? You never know. I forgot my water wings at home. So I hope we don't fall in. Nice pickup. I like that how he's got the tinted out uh, tail lights like that. I like that. Someone once told me that that's illegal though, but I don't know. I wouldn't put them on my truck just because I've heard that they're illegal. Because, you know, they dim the tail lights and people need to be able to see your tail lights. So it makes sense. Now we're on the floating part here. Apparently this bridge is floating. Somebody please correct me if I'm wrong, because I really hope this bridge isn't actually floating. And we go up again. And now we come into Kelowna. I got a really itchy nose. Who is thinking about me? Stop it. I'm seeing your work on Twitter on our campaign to get Tim Horton's attention. <laughs> if you watched yesterday's video, you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, I wanted to get Tim Horton's attention so they'd notice me. Because <laughs> I, I love the, their product so much. It's not that I want a sponsorship or brand deal from them or whatnot. If they want to offer one, that'd be great, but they'd have to go through my network to do that anyways. I'd have to direct them towards marketing, but Hey, if they want to do that, hey, by all means. I wouldn't say no, but I just want to say thanks, guys, for uh, your work on Twitter there. Let's continue to tweet Tim Hortons until they respond. So far, they haven't responded, but it's still early. Uh, it's the morning. We've just left Kelowna, so I'm expecting more and more of these tweets to be rolling in to, towards Tim Hortons today. We'll see if they can, uh, if we can get their attention. Just for fun. I've sort of been thinking, you know, what am I going to do when Tim Hortons actually checks me out and comes and says hi to me? What am I going to be? What am I going to do? I'm going to be like, hi. Hi. I really like your stuff. Hi. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought it would be fun to say, hey, you know what? There's a guy out there on YouTube with 43 plus thousand subscribers who talks about you every day. 
Maybe they'd want to know that. I'd never say anything bad about them. I don't I don't like bashing people online really, you know. I whine and complain sometimes about you know slow drivers and people who can't merge. But I don't think YouTube is the place to tear people apart or slander people. And I'm not, that's not what I'm about. Those of you who know me, you know that already. I mean, sometimes things come out the wrong way and I have to correct, correct myself or, you know, edit it out and be like, hey, that came out the wrong way. I'm not trying to slam them. But uh, I try to put everything in the most positive light possible in my YouTube vlog. I blog my vlog. I mean, if I don't like something, I just won't talk about it. If I don't like someone, I just won't talk about them. It's simple as that. I'm not going to go out there and bash them. I just won't talk about them. Like, personally, I'm not a fan of Starbucks. This isn't bashing them. There are some good things to them. A lot of, they got a lot of different flavors, and they got some very fancy names for their products that I can't understand. But it doesn't mean they're bad. But I don't talk about them as much because it's just not my thing, you know. But there's a lot of other YouTubers out there who do talk about them. You know, Matthew Santoro, big Starbucks fan. You know, he talks about them every day. And he's from Toronto, Canada. I'm trying to get him on Tim Hortons, but he doesn't quite know who I am yet. So maybe once he gets to know me a little bit, I'll meet him at Vlogger Fair this year. Maybe I'll be able to bring him back over to our side and get him back on Tim Hortons. You know, smarten him up. <laughs> so we're just heading up towards the Trans-Canada Highway from Kelowna, British Columbia. It's a very scenic route going up here. A lot of lakes and whatnot here. A lot of resorts. There's even a place here you can rent a houseboat if you want. Go on a vacation, rent a houseboat, go live on the water for a while. Always wanted to do that. I forget what it's called, but it's on Highway 93 here somewhere. It's closer to the Trans-Canada, just south of Sycamus. That would be an awesome vacation. Go rent a houseboat and hang out there. Do some fishing. Do you fish off houseboats? I'd fish off a houseboat. I don't care if it's not made for it, I'm fishing. You don't go in the water just to sit there. Go in the water to sit there and catch fish. A lot of uh, camping here too on the left here. You can see another campground. Big tourist area, I guess. Now, I wonder why all the tourists would want to come here. What an ugly landscape, man. Why would you want to come here? Come to Manitoba. Why don't any tourists ever come to Manitoba? Way better landscapes there. You know, we keep it simple. You know. We find out what works and we just stick with it. Flat works. I would love to come out here just spend all my time here. Wake up to the mountains every morning. Wonderful. It's my new word recently. Wonderful. Everything is wonderful in British Columbia. Wonderful. Look at this. I've said it before, but the same thing goes through my mind every time I go through the mountains. I would have liked to have been here in a helicopter above when these mountains were pushed up out of the earth. When they formed, that would be a sight to see. Or maybe just have a drone and record it and watch it later. But it would be better if you were actually there, physically there in the helicopter. It would probably affect the air currents quite a bit, eh? With all that land being pushed up. What do I know? This little community here. This is a little resort community. Price to sell. Yeah, probably $500,000 price to sell. You can get little condos in there and stuff. There's a lot of rich people in British Columbia. I'm just going to put that out there. Just in the last little while, I've passed two Ferraris, brand new Ferraris. One brand new Lamborghini. 
and countless Porsches and Beamers and Mercedes, like luxury cars. I even passed an Aston Martin. Or is it an Austin Martin? It's an Aston Martin, right? Whatever, those fancy rich people cars. I saw a Jaguar. Like this was all in just like the last hour or so. Diesel weasel, what do you want, man? What do you want, man? Why we stop? Why we stop? I'm having a good time, man. Why we stop? Sergeant, look at the camera. Sergeant, no, don't eat the camera. Sergeant, all right, then you guys ready to go outside? You ready to go outside? That's why we stopped. You need to go outside? Yes, I do. Actually, yes, I do. Yeah, I didn't really know I did, but now that you said, I wouldn't mind. Oh, now you're gonna fight over who gets to go out first. That's not very. Hey, 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 hey! I decide. I decide who goes out first. Whoever's been acting the nicest, which is usually Diesel, <laughs> right? But Sergeant usually does actually go out first because uh, I want to get his bladder emptied first because it's younger and not as controlled. He's got like 99% control of it, but sometimes when he gets really excited, still a little bit goes pss, pss, pss. Isn't that right? All right, you gotta learn how to control that thing, man. All right, so we are here in Sycamus, BC. Sycamus. Sycamus, British Columbia. I'm Sycamus too. They're everywhere, keep jumping in front of me, walking around, scaring me. Sycamus, Sycamus. If I had a moose, I'd sick of my moose on you too. Sick of moose. Indoor pool and hot tub. Cool. And it's located right by dun, 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 Tim Hortons. I think you should take out the trash, young man. Just saying. Just saying. Glacier National Park of Canada. That sign over there says avalanche hazard. No stopping in designated danger areas. Good thing we're not in a designated danger area. You guys got a hair on your lens here. What are you doing? Much better, much better. Now you can see my camera. I know that, very awkward. I hate that about these glasses, but hey, whatever. I can see you watching me watching you. So, this is one of the very few places on Earth still left with some glaciers this far south. Uh, I don't know where they are. They're probably all melted by now. I don't know. They're around here somewhere. They've been melting for thousands of years. This whole valley here, this whole entire place here, used to be under like half a mile of ice. So, it's not like it's a new phenomenon or anything. It's just beautiful here. Huh? There's more mountains up there. Yeah, and the less ice there is, the faster it melts, right? It was always explained to me this way, you know, you put an ice cube in the sink. First of all, you won't really see it melt. It'll seem a little, seem a little wet. You can tell it's getting warmer. And then the, the faster or the, the less and less ice there is, hmm? the less and less ice there is, the faster it melts, right? Until that last little bit vanishes right in front of your eyes. Sort of like that with glaciers. They melt faster and faster and faster. And the more they melt, the more land is exposed 
and when the sun hits the land underneath the ice, it generates more heat, right? So it heats up more because there's more land to heat, and so the ice melts even faster. That's why we're seeing this huge spike in temperatures because there's less ice to reflect the sunlight back into space and there's more land to soak in that sunlight to absorb it and heat the earth. That's all what this area is all about here, Glacial, Na Glacial National Park. It's just a beautiful area. I'm about to periscope here. Uh, once again guys, if you follow me on Periscope, it is a live broadcasting app for your phone. Uh, I don't know if it works on the older phones, but it does work on the newer phones and you can get these live broadcasts from me. So you would have already seen these sites yesterday. So I encourage you all to go to Periscope. It's owned by Twitter, so unfortunately you have to make a Twitter account. Doesn't mean you have to use the Twitter account, you just have to make one and it's free. And then you can have a Periscope. And then your phone goes ding every time that I come online and you guys can come and hang out with me live. Sort of like a live vlog, you can make little comments and whatnot. It's a beautiful sound. What are you doing? What are you doing? Did you see that? Who's that? Who's in there? Who is this? Who is this? What are you doing out there, man? Hey, hey, I want to see the glaciers too. I want to see the glaciers too. Where are they? They're gone, man. You missed them. A couple of decades late. Sorry. <laughs> okay, guys, stay down. Seriously. I need to get a name for sergeant on here yet, man. I'm slacking off. I need to get that made. Okay, Sergeant, you gotta stay down though, bud, okay? <laughs> Goofy guy. <laughs> they were just running around here. And I figured I'd come out here and talk to you guys without them pulling me in like two different directions and show you the sights. All right, I'll see you in a second on Periscope or I saw you yesterday on Periscope, whatever. And we come over the hill and we're back on the prairies. Just like that, boom. That's how it is in Canada. It's like a fine line. Almost at the Alberta-British Columbia border. Pretty much right at the edge of Alberta, boom, suddenly there's massive mountains. And if you're traveling east, you come around the corner and boom, you're back on the prairies. Just like that, like don't blink. You'll miss it, you'll be totally confused. What happened? I just blinked and now I'm on a different planet. Yeah, so we got could probably get home in close to a full day's drive from here and take a little bit more. We gotta get to the other side of Calgary. I'm actually hoping to make it to Medicine Hat tonight. Uh, that's just on the eastern edge of southern Alberta. On the Trans-Canada. That's where uh, our goal is for tonight. We can go further if we want, but that's the goal. At least we can pass now. That's nice. No more slowing down, set the cruise and give her. Are you ready for bed, man? Are you ready for bed? Went on your little walk and everything. How about you? Are you ready for bed, man? I'm ready. I'm on your bed even. Look at me. I'm on your bed. I'm ready for bed. Way ahead of the game, aren't you? How about you? I'm tired. It's been a long day again. And, uh, it's over now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man Woo, there it goes thanks for joining me today guys don't forget down below in the description there's links to past vlogs of mine up to two years ago you can go and check those out if you want to I would appreciate it see what I've been up to for the past two years you can go back actually every single day for the last two years and see what I've been up to isn't that crazy man I can't imagine vloggers that have been doing this for like over six years six years of vlogs every day wow Anyways, let's end it here. I'll see you tomorrow. All right? I'll get this vlog up as soon as I can for your viewing pleasure. I need to go to bed. I can't even talk. Good night.